This news update is brought to you by. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Tuesday, July the 15th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good evening. Signs of recovery for the Barbados economy following improvements in the tourism sector. In his economic review for the first six months of the year, Governor Dr. Delisle Worrell predicted slight growth of 0.3% for 2014 with improvements of 1.2% in 2015 and 2.5% for the following year. Tourism, he said, picked up somewhat in the UK market with 8.2%, while there was a fall-off in arrivals from the US, Canada and the Caribbean. Unemployment continues to rise at an average rate of 11.7%, while inflation fell from 2.6% in 2013 to 1.7% 1 at the end of April. Now, Dr. Rowe says the fiscal adjustment measures have dampened demand for imports with a 1.4% drop for the first six months of the year. The fiscal adjustment measures taken by the Barbados government between August 2013 and March this year appear to have begun to restore the balance of inflows and outflows of foreign exchange. And the foreign exchange reserve trends for the first six months of the year reverted to the pattern of the years from 2009 to 2012. Reserves declined by $51 million compared to a fall of $119 million on average for those years. At the end of June, the stock of reserves stood at $1 billion and $93 million, representing 15.1 weeks of import reserve cover. Meantime, opposition economic advisor Dr. Clyde Maskell says the figures for the first six months prove that the government's fiscal adjustment program is not working. He says the governor has some explaining to do in the light of the numbers. Why is it that the government and the NAS continue to be the main financier of the fiscal deficit through the printing of money, providing some 83% of government's domestic financing requirement in April to June of this year. Is this printing of money not contrary to the commitment given by the central bank to the IMF in the Article 4 report in February of this year? The governor needs to explain the decline in the foreign reserves, notwithstanding the borrowing of 450 million since December of 2013, and would the reserves not be 650 million, or about eight weeks of import cover, were it not for the, that loan from Credit Suisse? And finally, why has the fiscal deficit not improved in the face of the fiscal adjustment package of the government? The Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry is calling on the government to extend the July 20th municipal solid waste tax deadline. The BCCI made the call during a wide-ranging meeting with Finance Minister Chris Sinclair yesterday. The Chamber also presented the case to have the taxes owed by businesses offset by money outstanding by government. Minister Sinclair has promised to look at the proposals but said that offsetting money owed for goods and services against taxes due may need legislative changes. In other news, a Britain's Hill mother is tonight trying to come to grips with the murder of her 20-year-old son. Dario Ricardo Lloyd of Reese Road was shot and killed by gunmen who opened fire on a group of people who were playing dominoes in the Bonnets housing area last night. The dead man's mother, Angela Lloyd, tells Barbets today she never imagined that the life of her only son would be taken so brutally. I can leave my gap in my clothes and ask them. Mm -hmm. 
because we're gonna get your phone call and start screaming now. Mm -hmm. Girls was no in name babe. Mm -hmm. And then guess what show I saying what's going on. So he he never used to give trouble. You didn't expect him obviously to die from the gun? Mm -mm. Never get out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Well guess a little chat. Mm -hmm. Working no so long. Two other people, Mokaya Knight, aged 14, and 24-year-old Leron Motley, were also injured in the shooting. Another Jamaican national has been caught at the Granley Adams International Airport with drugs. Police say 28-year-old Kevin Anthony Reed was charged with possession, possession with intent to supply, trafficking, and the importation of 1.6 kilograms of cannabis. He was arrested on arrival at the airport yesterday after drug squad officers discovered the contraband concealed in a false compartment of his suitcase. Reed is expected to appear at the District B Magistrates Court tomorrow. It is regional and international news after this short break. Hey, I'm Charlie, the Costa McDonald's Rich Only Alpha for Papa, the original by my captain, Osmo B. Smart F for short. You call me Alf. This is the Nirvana experience. I am feeling perfect happiness, pure joy, and this is bliss because Barbados today, in association with Wednesday 2000, presents. Tales of Nirvana. Yes, listen to me. Why? Because Wednesday 2000, the band is Nirvana. This is could do meant the 2040 experience. And what they want you to do if you believe that you know what Nirvana is and you can get more Nirvana than me, you have more perfect happiness than me, more pure joy than me, more bliss than me. Take a 60 second video, upload it to Tales of Nirvana at Barbados today dot BB. Yes, and they will upload it to Facebook. People will like it or don't like it, but I know you want them to like it. And you can win two costumes for Wednesday 2020-14, which is Nirvana. This is Kadumut the 2040 experience. Hey, for further information, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. You hear me? www.barbadostoday.bb. Nirvana, Nirvana, Nirvana. To news from our regional neighbors now, a male patient warded at the regional hospital in central Jamaica was shot and killed by police this morning. According to Independent Commission of Investigations, the 38-year-old man had injured another patient as well as staff members when the police, who were guarding a prisoner, responded to a disturbance. The man allegedly approached the police with a piece of metal when they reportedly took evasive action and opened fire and killed him. And finally, on the international scene, a suicide attack at a market in eastern Afghanistan leaves at least 89 people dead and a dozen more injured. The details in this BBC report. We understand that the vehicle was being chased by the police. It had gone through a vehicle checkpoint, hadn't stopped. It was a suspicious vehicle. It had been tipped off that there may be a suicide bomber inside. When he reached the marketplace, he detonated his explosives there. Scenes of devastation. Many of the people who were injured and killed, women and children who had been out shopping as they celebrate the Muslim uh, month of Ramadan at the moment, uh, a really, really devastating attack. And no one has yet claimed responsibility. That's our 6 p.m. update, but we will be back tomorrow at 7 in the morning. Until then, you can log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper or like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a great evening. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Catch the sun. Catch